wanna jump like me, then stick to the end of this video. Let's go. For the past like few months, I think nine or ten months, you've been seeing a lot of uh, box jumps from me and I'm of course getting a lot of messages like well, how do you train it, what do you do, all of that. To, to be honest, I didn't really train it as much. I've been always pretty impulsive in my training, so I didn't do any particular training for it. The only thing I can really tell you is, uh, you know, I've been doing just progressional overload with it. What I mean by that, I literally only started with a normal box jump, so not really adding any any new height to it. Not really good at it, you know, high, higher rep range, 10, 15, up to 20 in a set. And then, I think uh, three, three years ago, four years ago, I started adding like plates on it. You know, every training or every other week or every fourth week, whenever I, you know, focused on it for a shorter period of time, I started adding more and more plates. So you should do it too. You start doing it like that, doing normal, just squat jumps, right? And then when you start being good at just normal squats and, and jump, jump squats, you're gonna start adding box jumps to it. Again, just the normal empty box and then you start adding plates on it. Another thing that I think really helped me in my training, it's uh, squatting heavy. Just doing that once a week, two times a week, squatting heavy. Again, what's heavy for me and what's heavy for you, it's different. Again, you can just progressionally overload there and just continue to, to jump. Now I'm also gonna show you a few variations that I did that helped me. Normal squats, bodyweight training, adding weights to the squats will definitely help you with uh, the strength and power, right? Then starting to include plyometric, explosive movements, jump squats, box jump, right? Just with the normal progressional overload in it. So adding plates on it. Uh, and then there's gonna come to a point where you're getting, you know, higher and higher. And then it's everything here. A lot of people get scared that you're gonna fall down, that you're gonna push the weights or anything like that. So you're gonna see me, I, I have the same problem as you, right? When you get to that big height, you're always gonna have it back of your mind like, oh, what if, what if I fall? What if I hit myself? What if something happens? All of that, right? I have the same thing. So you're gonna see me in every video concentrating, you know, trying to overcome the fear. How I do it, let's, for example, this height right here. I don't have to really move it. You're gonna see me being really calculated, you know, measuring where I'm at. Usually, how I do it, if I can touch it, just barely with my fingertips, that's the distance that I use, right? So I see a lot of people who try it, they come from here. They're not being calculated, they're not measuring their step, they're literally just doing, and then jumping. And then, what can happen? You can hit your knees, and then, what I do with everything, I close my eyes, imagining me already being on top, so the whole movement, I, I imagine me squatting down, holding up, so bring my arms up and of course I'm visualizing me being on top of the weights, leaning forward, all of that. So I'm already doing it in my head and then I'm actually doing it here in real life. So if I do it here five times in my head, boom, then I'll do it here. When you feel the most anxiety, when, when the tension is high, then I jump, right? So that's how I do it. A good technique to overcome fear, again, just repeating the, the, the motion in your head, the feelings, all of that. And what I like to do with my clients and everyone, so you put the height here, just jump up, and just stand here. It's not that high, it's not really that high. You're just maybe panicking in your head, 
but it's not that high. Squat down, so you're a little bit lower. So the moment that people really fear, it's, it's this height, right? Like going, looking down, it's pretty high, but actually the squat jump is right here. When you're squatting, it's not that high. It's not even your height, right? So just being comfortable in this position and being a height is gonna help you overcome the fear. And another thing, what you have to pay attention to, you're not gonna come all the way up and then jump down and get injured, right? You don't want that. When you jump up, just be careful and slowly climb down. So don't jump, don't roll your ankle, don't injure your knee, your back, anything like that. Careful you jump up, careful you go down. But yeah gang, that's basically it. Uh, number one, so you have to do legs once, twice a week. Uh, heavy squats, progressional heavy squats. Jump squats, box jump, progressional box jump. A few variations here and there that we filmed, but to be honest, like I said, I don't really do this. Like I, I do it morally, mostly for fun. Maybe one day I'm gonna get more serious about it and then we can make another video how to progress in this. But to be honest, this is all I do and um, I'm gonna be truthful with it. And uh, yeah, again, do the legs, do the plyometrics, uh, con concentrate, be careful, overcome your fear. And those are the main, I think, steps that you have to focus on and work on. And yeah, hopefully in the future when I get serious about it, I'm, I'll make a part two and adding more stuff that you can include in your workouts, okay? Hopefully, this video was a little bit more informational and you have an insight how I do it. If you liked it, leave a thumbs up, comment down below what you think, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Gang gang.